guys, this is a uh, waist valve handle. Uh, again, it's another one of my uh, wet strap purchases. Um, the way these work is the screen on top will pop off. You'll see in here there's teeth here and here. So you actually need a special tool. You can uh, you could probably just use a flathead if you want. I actually bought one because we changed these out quite a bit. Uh, these are also on Webstrap. Um, and what they do is they lock into the teeth so you can actually turn the top to tighten it down to the sink with the tool. So um, it might be worth your while to purchase one of these guys. It will make your life easier. Another thing is you could possibly bend these inside pieces um, if you use a flathead. So just keep that in mind. But these are also on Webstrap. Typically, it's one of those things where they just pop into your cart as soon as you uh, as soon as you um, as soon as you put this into your cart. That will be like an extra. So this just unscrews. You'll see a rubber piece and a cardboard piece to prevent slipping. So we're gonna get this thing installed. This piece goes on top. What I did was I I cleaned, I scrubbed out the sink. Let's see. I scrubbed out the sink really well and cleaned this up as much as I could without having a ton of my tools here and then I just wanted to dry it up. And the way these work is you'll see there's one installed here already. They're just, they're valves that hang out so your uh, staff can kind of just twist them open and close. See that, how it's opening and closing there? So it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but you'll use this valve and it opens and closes this. So I'm gonna put this piece on top, rubber down, slide it in there, there just like that. This piece will go below. You'll see the threaded part sticking down. And this is where that tool comes into handy, guys. Um, also, make sure this is screwed on perfectly straight or else you're going to have a world of problems. I actually start, if you see, I started screwing with this first because it's actually easier to do it that way. Once you get it started, you can hold down below. And this is where, I, like I said, that tool comes into handy. Just tighten down, tightens down your disc. That's pretty good. Again, it's just a uh, it's just a um, a drain piece here, so um, you don't need a ton of pressure on it because it's not going to have a ton of pressure water wise. There was a garbage disposal here first, so we you know there's going to be some adapting we need to do, but um, we don't need a garbage disposal anymore. So I'm just going to screw this in. Like, you probably want to use Teflon tape here. I'm not going to. If it causes me trouble down the road, I'll add it. But again, just because it's just a drain, I'm not too worried about leaking as long as I tighten this down a little bit. So now guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a 90 degree angle on. I'll go over a little bit, same thing, down spot here. I got a rubber seal to go over this existing pipe. I'm dealing with two inches, this is one, so um, there's, there's a little bit of an adaption here. Um, you can see the difference, two to one. So. Um, I'm just going to pipe it in. I'll save you the time of talking, but that's pretty much it.